Well, CBS 13's Tori Apodaca has been tracking those troubles across the valley all day. Joining us live from Land Park now. Tori. Yeah, that rain and wind has really been on and off all day across Sacramento. But within this last hour, I can tell you that it has been consistent out here, just getting a couple big wind gusts right before you guys came to us. But those emergency crews have been busy all day responding to calls. Intense water and wind creating some chaos across Northern California. We woke up and there was a big hole. And I thought maybe somebody bombed it, but uh, our tree had fallen down or something. Some neighbors in Land Park woke up to this, a sinkhole in the street. It was pretty deep and it's kind of scary. I thought maybe there'd be a car down there. But no cars plunged into the underground storm drainage pipe that crews found a hole in, shoring it up with rocks and dirt. We've been here since about 1960, so yeah, we've been here quite a while. Yeah, no, never had anything like this happen. Rushing waters trapped a car on Kiefer Boulevard. We watched first responders safely rescue the two people inside who were on their way to work. And if it was a little flooded, I would have done it. But that is a lake. <laughs> people like Taylor Lands, who was coming from Valley Springs, had to reroute his family, familiar with the damage the storms have been causing at their home. Our trampoline flew, uh, our neighbor's trampoline flew. We live on about eight acres, um, so our chicken coop was down. His daughter's playhouse. Yeah, scary. Yeah, scary. Wow. scary. Really loud. No match for the 40 to 50 mile per hour wind gusts. It flew away and then like our swing set kind of broke. <laughs> and it's popped. This fierce wind also felt in Vacaville as it cut across from the coast to the foothills, zapping power in some spots in Sacramento like Grant Line Road. The intensity in this storm system so severe, the possibility of thunderstorms and tornadoes in Northern California, even on the table. It appears that things are really changing. I mean, with regards to the weather. Back out here live right now, you can see those trees moving back and forth from the wind. Again, it's been gusting in kind of waves. Right now, I can kind of feel a big one coming. Um, but those emergency crews have been just working around the clock, 24 hours. I know we saw back at the beginning of the month on February 4th, about $12 million worth of damages across Sacramento. So just imagine all of the cleanup still happening from that and now getting battered with this latest system that's moving through you guys.